my god, I found skims. I found this little skims jacket. Chevron moment, two Chevron moment, this one. This one's 1950. It is so pretty. Damn, it's strong. Two, and I'm out of it. What is up you guys? You're watching Sergio's Secret and today's video is going to be a jam-packed shopping vlog. I'm going to San Antonio, which is about two and a half hours from Houston. I've never actually like shopped in San Antonio. Uh, I usually go to like San Marcos because the outlets are right there or Austin. But even like Austin, I, I other than like the last time I was at the domain like two weeks ago, I don't really like shop like that. So um, we're going to go to San Antonio. We're going to see what's up. We are at Bucky's. I'll give you after the day jam-packed. But the reason why I'm here is because my friend got a surgery done and I have to pick and I told her from like a beginning from like a month ago that I was going to pick her up and so I decided you know what she doesn't arrive here till 7 um, and so I'm like you know what 7 p.m. so I was like you know what let me go to San Antonio a little early throughout the day and just kind of have fun kind of have a little bit of me time and then pick her up and then we can drive back to Houston and then just kiki with the girls so I decided you know what I'm gonna bring you guys along I, I don't know like La Contera I know that's a mall I want to have like brunch somewhere and then maybe have like a mimosa or two and then there's like another mall i think it's like south park mall i don't know that has like a sax fifth avenue and then i want to go to tg max and orchard max so we're gonna go all the goodies come along besties we're gonna take you along with me but right now i have to pump gas because um a girly ain't not is not gonna go anywhere sin gasolina dame mas gasolina necesito la gasolina oh no vamos a ni un parte and it's kind of cold outside i feel like anuela uh brr, brr. I'm like such in like in a hyper mood because I've never really been to San Antonio like that. So, um, so the wallet that I'm using is my Hermes wallet, but it, they take Apple Pay, which I think is like a lot better. Let's see if they take Apple Cash. Oh, they do. Outfit of the day. So my sunglasses are Tom Ford, and I'll leave everything linked down below. My hair is finally like growing out, which I'm so excited. These are the Jameson Tom Ford glasses. The top and the sweaters from the row. My Saint Laurent 5'7 bag. I'm wearing ALC trousers that fit me so huge compared to last year. And then my Isabel Marat Beth sneakers, which are so comfortable. Like they're literally one of the most comfortable sneakers. So, so let's pump this gas and then go inside the building. I want it. I'm only gonna get an orange juice and a kolache. I wanted to get another one, but um, I'm probably want to go eat somewhere in San Antonio, so I limit myself to just one. So no, now we're here. My f I was gonna eat, but I'm not really that hungry. But oh, we are here at this Nordstrom rack. It looks like it's two levels. That's insane. I've never been to a Nordstrom rack in Texas. That's two levels. I have been to the one um, in Boston. That was two levels, but not this one here. Um, this looks like a pretty good shopping center. Like I said, I don't I don't really come to San Antonio like that, so. I don't know my stuff, so don't judge me. Alice in Houston, and it's kind of chilly outside. So they have like a pottery barn, and then they have like all, like all these like stores are like in nicer places. Like they have a full Nike boutique. That's not a Nike outlet. They have a Victoria's Secret. They have a J Crew and stores like that. So, I mean, I'm assuming this is like a good Nordstrom Rack just because what it's surrounded by. So let's go ahead and go in and see what we can find. And it's two levels, but I'm, I have to tinkle really bad. Though. I found these shorts from Sweaty Betty. They're super cute. And they were a full line item. And I've been needing to get more shorts because I usually wear a lot of leggings. I think that's a pretty decent price. Oh my God, they have so much active wear. Like they have all this, it's clearance and active wear. This is like the most I've seen active wear in like in a Nordstrom rack. I've never seen so much active wear. Either the people in San Antonio need to work out or they work out a lot. The fact that they get so much active wear. I've never seen this much active wear. And then I also found this sweaty bitty tank top that I want to try on in a size medium. You guys know I usually work out in sweaty Betty a lot or aloe. Those are like kind of my two go brands. And then here's like more of like the teeny stuff. Hi guys. I like that they kind of separated the juniors clothing because that makes it like a lot more easier. I haven't found like NQC tags. They have like rows of sweaty Betty and this is just like full price, like rack merchandise. But they have quite a bit um, of sweaty Betty merchandise, which is actually really cool because I am somebody that really likes a lot of sweaty Betty. 
they have this green jean champ in QC. I think it's it's a good brand. I've seen it before, but they have one here and it's four dollars and ninety seven cents. They have these really pretty mother shorts, and I like how like they have the fly buttons open. I'm gonna get these, so I'm gonna try them on. But they do have like a little bit, so they have like these. We wore that here, and then they have frame Bermuda shorts. I'm not a big fan of Bermuda shorts. I've never been a big fan of them. And then they also have like a little bit of like more refurbished. Like they have these made wool jeans, 30 bucks, size 28. They look a little loose, but they're super cute. I don't know if they'll, actually, I'll just try them on. But they do have like a little bit of like refurbished. They even have Acris, not Acris Punto. They even have Acris in the house. I mean, that's still expensive, but they have Acris in here. Anushka. These are Anushka, but what I like is that they say body suits, sleeveless, short sleeves, skirts, shorts, long sleeves, like whatever you're looking for, they have it. And when I worked on Ultramac, they didn't have that. So I'm kind of happy that they have that now because it makes it more easier for the customer to shop. But as you can see, I can spot these from a mile away. But I'm kind of happy that they that they have that because it makes it more easy for the customer to shop. Let's look at these red tags and see what we can find. So far, I have a little bit of things that I want to try on. Uh, but so far, it's like on a mission. And I still have to shop for my friend. So let's see what we can find. Mm -hmm. These Gucci shoes are a great price. They're not like the other Gucci shoes that you see at the racks. This one's actually a transfer. Um, it's not one that they bought. And this is from the Liberty Collection. This is really pretty flat. Not for me, but I mean, they do have them here. And I've only been here for five minutes and I already met a subscriber, so... It's nothing but good luck, and then I have a few clothes to try on, so I'm super, super excited. And let's see what we can find here in San Antonio. I'm here for a few hours while my friend is getting um already. Since so she's had surgery, um, she can't like be all over the place like me, and so she's just gonna. Um, she says she'll just wait for me while I do all my little gay homosexual shopping. I like the perks of having small feet as a guy. I have small feet compared to like the average guy. I'm like a size eight and a half, like eight, eight to a nine, but honestly eight and a half. So I get the men's and women's shoes, best of both worlds. But let's go downstairs and see what they have for um, men's. Uh, oh my God, Zara jeans, Zara. They're all in QCs that they're about to put out, but I cannot believe that they have Zara denim. Zara denim, but yeah, I mean they have good stuff, but like nothing that like really interests me. Like they have these mother jeans, made well. I mean they're good deals. Like this Vince sweater is really cute. I think this is from the anniversary sale. This rails top, this little hole, but nothing really kind of like was like oh my god I have to have. Well this John Elliott top is cute. But no, nothing really popped at me. Even like these Nike sweatpants. I'm not a big Nike person. But they did have a whole rack of NQCs. They have these sweatpants that say carrots on them for $30. So if they have NQCs here, I feel like they're going to have NQCs at the other one, $40. So we shall see. I think, I think our luck's going to be really well here. Since I'm doing my friend a favor and picking her up, and you know, I don't like to throw favors in people's faces, but I feel like God was like, you know what? I'm gonna bless you today. So let's see. I mean, I'm already winning. I'm already happy with the sweaty Betty shorts. That, that there already uh, makes me pretty happy. But oh my God, let's see what we can find. See, like I can already peep them out. So they just probably put the men's ones. Look at this barber jacket. Something my dad would wear. 121. This look, this Nike one, twenty two ninety seven. So they just put them out. So let's look through these men's um, refurbished items. Oh, I didn't even know they cured our money, but it has foundation stain. This Adidas hoodie is so cute. It's a size small, team bucks refurbished. So the sweaty Betty shorts are going to be a yes. Okay, I don't know how I feel about them. I don't really like the fly buttons open. I don't think they're as flattering. In the back, they look fine. But I can see why they're here, because of the buttons. These actually fit pretty well. 
they're like a little loose but i kind of like them because i can tuck in a white top and then it won't bunch up and they're 30 from 128 and i actually really like the wash on them and i like how they're crop but they're not too crop so that's a no um this is a no i it was just kind of embarrassing to show you so i think i'm gonna do the denim and i'm gonna do the sweaty betty shorts oh they have this cute little bag but it's refurbished but it's missing a pearl I think it's a Nordstrom brand. Who oh, no, it's BTB. This Rebecca Minkoff one is cute. So it was somewhat of it was a success. I found two items. And then also um, one of the person the manager at this store manager at this rack here used to work at North Park. So I actually knew him. But yes. So far, so good, no complaints. Now we are going to North Star Mall, I believe. I was calling it South Park Mall. And this is the only other Saks Fifth Avenue. And I don't know, I'll just walk around here through quick. I was gonna go to La Cantera first, but I'll just pass here really fast. I only really wanna just walk through the mall just so I can say I've been here and maybe go through the Saks and see what they have. But um, let me find some parking and then let's see what the 411 is. I also kinda want a coffee too. Ooh, I have not drank coffee in a few days. I don't really like coffee, but I'll get like a sweet coffee just for today. Okay, let's see what this Saks Fifth Avenue has. And also, um, my phone is cracked, so that looks a little ghetto. But let's see what this all about. Especially the designer finale, because a lot of the stores are having. They have a cute Bulgari boutique here. That's super, super cute. And a little bit of the jewelry as well. We have a ton here. And Roberto Coin. And here's more fine jewelry. And then I think this is where they have a little bit more of handbags. And Cartier. That's cute. Coach. And they have a little bit of Kate Spade. So it's kind of like the meh. You know what I mean? But it's kind of like dead here. And it's like they have stuff, but it's like dead. And they have all the glasses here. These fingers are on sale for $2.45 and then they have an additional 30% off. So all these coach bags are on sale. And there's also a Gucci boutique here. I believe there was inside more Neiman's, but ever since that disagreement, they took all the Gucci boutiques out of Neiman Marcus. They don't even sell Gucci except if it's like shoes and stuff. Or eyewear or beauty or jewelry. These new Chloe bags are actually really pretty. I really like them. And I like this little baby pink color. I love the Marcy collection. You guys already know that. And they have so much of it. I feel like it's such like a Texas bag. Like if you want a discreet bag that's like not crazy out loud, I feel like the Marcy is like always a really big collection. So they have this studio back here. I thought it was $500, but it's $400 here. That's what the tag says. And they have my classic little baby tabby. They have a black one too. Yeah, they're 400 I thought they were 500 But it's a really great size. Like really, It's a really generous size. And I like the way it opens and everything. It's super cute. And then here's a few of the St. Laurent bags. They have the one that I have, but in the croc. I like the croc. It's really pretty and it's going to be a lot more scratch resistant. I love this one. This one's 1950. It is so pretty. Uh, it, like, it's literally asking to get a stain on it. These ones with a big clutch, I don't really like. I'm not a big fan of them. I'm not a fan of that. I like this leopard moment. This one's really cute. Super, super cute. That um, Lou Puffer is cute. And then these kind of new styles of the wallet on chains. I think it's super cute. I love this one. I love anything with this fabric. I think it's so cute. And the Toy Lou, I'm a big fan of. You guys already know, I love all of them. And I like all of them. This denim one I like. Pocket book I like. This Franola, like this uh, material. I like. Oh, and then they have the Olympia bag. Ooh, I've been a big fan of the Olympia. 
And then those ones have went up crazy since they came out. They're like a fourteen fifty, or they're like fifteen fifty now. They're super cute though. I really like them. It's the Burberry section. So Saks has a Burberry boutique, which is really cute. It's old, but it's cute. I like it. But they have nice product. There's a Saks boot. There's a there's a Burberry boutique. There's a Louis Vuitton, Gucci, and Saint Laurent. But obviously, Gucci and Louis Vuitton are like there's their own employees that work there. I'm not a big fan of them. They kind of remind me of how far I wanted that they did something similar. But to me, they're still. I am not feeling these Chloe bags. They are not cute at all. This one's $1,500. This looks like $5. This is like something I'll get for $500. The Chloe's just not doing it other than the Marcy and the Faye. And then some of the other, like the Kiss bag I also like too. I think they did the Kiss bag really well. Oh my god. I love this. They redid the studios because the studio used to be a little bit of order, but I prefer this rainy leather because it's a little bit more sparse resistance than the ton of It's super cute. I like that puppy one. And then this crystal one is super cute. Kind of reminds me of the Prada one. But yes, I think her Rumble does really pretty color box. Oh, this glitter one, preciosa. They carry a lot of Veronica beer. This is super cute. I like this one, the patchwork. Like, I can't believe patchwork is coming back. 850. I love anything like that. It's very, very preppy. But they do have like a lot of Veronica beer here. This leather one, beautiful. But they do have um a lot of Veronica beer. Now that you start carrying it, this jacket, everything Veronica beard I love. Like I would wear this, I would wear that. I would definitely wear this beautiful coat. So pretty. She's 858, which is a random number, but she is so cute. They have Zimmerman, AOC. So this sax actually has quite a bit of stuff. Uh, is it just me or I'm not a fan of Farm Rio? I just think it's not my style. I just don't really like it at all. It's not my style. It's not my vibe. Upstairs and then they actually have quite a bit of stuff for it to be in San Antonio. I'm actually quite impressed. They actually have quite a bit of stuff, so they can sell through it. But it's really pretty store. Um, the store I feel like needs like a little bit of a renovation, but it's kind of cute. Whatever, whatever. Oh, they even have Theory. They have Max Mara coats, even though it doesn't get that cold here. Like their selection here is pretty like awesome. Like I thought it was going to be like Saks when they were leaving the Galleria, like right before. Like where it was, everything was super naked. They actually have quite a bit of stuff. The first salon is closing. So it means that they're not going to carry it anymore. They have Acris and they have a whole Dolce & Gabbana boutique and an Ethro boutique. They have like a little bit of everything. No, but this hat actually has quite a bit. I'm actually quite impressed. Like they're well stocked. Like Ethro has like a lot. Dolce & Gabbana actually has merchandise. Oh, here's the men's. Oh, so they're separate. Oh, okay, I got it. I was like, the men's, it looks like a little separate. I was like, where's the men's? And it's because it's completely separate. So there's dresses. So there's like a lot of sacks in this mall, actually. So let's go in here and see what we can find. So they're separate. Okay, this McQueen shirt's actually kind of cute. It's 186 from 500 and then it has 40% off. So it'd be like 120. I'm actually not mad at it. I'm gonna tweet if I like them. Yes, 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 no, no, yes, 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 no, 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 yes, no, no, yes, no, and these two are no. It's funny how the men's stores like divided. It's like the old, like, like the classic traditional clothing, and then the middle is like all the shoes and like fragrances and everything. 
and then the other side is like more of like the youthful like brands that like I go for you know what I mean like these is, these are clothing like brands that my dad would go for but it's cute it, it's cute that it's all like separate it's like like it's done well like it's like men's store and then it's like women's like that so it's like sacks and it goes like that and then it goes under too with like uh women's shoes but let's walk around and see what they have here kind of want a starbucks but they do have, it's a it's a pretty nice store i mean i feel like it needs a renovation because like look at all the other stores that are outside that doesn't reflect it like i feel like here they should be a mannequin like i feel like it's like due for renovation but the, i i'm have a feeling that the rent here is pretty inexpensive because this is like i think the only higher end anchor in the mall like there's not a nordstrom or like i don't even know what else is here but we shall see i mean dash sacks definitely carries this mall i feel like if it was gone i don't know okay i wouldn't go for this particular style but carl lagerfeld bags so well, this is actually on sale for 171 this is actually pretty great quality like carl lagerfeld bags are made really well i wouldn't go for any of these but there's some really pretty ones that i've seen i would go for them i'm like obsessed and it has like a little lock here as well so cute be in this green color super super cute i kind of like this green more than the green that i used to have i think it was like a little bit too of a bright green and then here's my classic tabby they have like so many of them so cute this new variation of the Hamilton. I think it's super cute. And then I like kind of like these, kind of like they look like a, a 2.0 of the Bradshaw. Super cute. I probably wouldn't do a monogram luggage for safety concerns, but I do everything. And I like this one with the studs too. Very rock stud. Super, super cute. Oh my God, they carry all Saints accessories. I did not know that. I don't know that dealers carries all things, so now they do. And they have Max Mara eyewear here too as well. Damn, I guess I really am in San Antonio. Mira la musica that they're playing. I've never seen a Starbucks play this type of music. Like, never. Got a little Starbucks, Armani, Coach, and then there's the Michael Kors boutique here. So, it's actually not that bad. This is the end of the mall, Macy's, but like typical mall brands that i can find in houston i want to go to la cantera and the north track there but the michael kors is really big they have like a lot of nice merchandise there and then they have a uh, casper too which is a good thing so let's go ahead and go to the north track in la cantera and see what we can find i have to hurry up a little bit more because my friend's actually way above schedule we are at the north track by la cantera and then Sacks off faith. Oh my god. And then we get to go to La Cantera. And then I want my well deserved margarita after that. So let's see what we'll find here. I need a little gay shopping cart because I didn't have one last time. So they have these Club Monaco pants. They're super cute. And I like that I've been kind of want like a dress up kind of legging. And this one's pretty cute. So, I'm gonna try this one on. And I like that these carts have like the little holder. So, I think it's a little bit better. I have like a bunch of empty seats. You can tell that they just put them out. And there's like a few. So, let's see what we can find out of these right here. You guys know me. I can go through like an entire store like in five minutes. So, I only found that. I went through all the clearance sections. I go like this. And I just look at that size, I look at the brand, and then I look at the price, and then first of all, I look what it is, and then I look if it's an AQC, and then I kind of like look what it is. But that's the only thing that I found so far, so hopefully uh, La Cantera, maybe I'll find something else, but honestly, I'm really happy with those, because I've actually been wanting like a pair. I Nina Bing had like a pair that I was just going to buy full price. Honestly, these ones kind of like, they do the trick. And they're super, super cute. Oh my god, I found skims. I found this little skims jacket. And right here, look. And then none of these have like red tags, like, ink, like over furbish. So I'm just gonna go through the rounder, but. Oh my god, found one. Jackpot. This North Face little number is cute. Super, super cute. 
And look what I found. Oh my god, they have some Manolo Blahniks. <laughs> Manolo Blahniks. They have those Bottega loafers. I have those in black. The Bottega wallet. I forgot almost full price. It looks like new Bottega because the squares are like a little bit bigger. I wonder how much those Manolos are. Oh, they're full price. And then they have Versace. Those are a thousand. And then they have the Tacones Balenciaga. See, look, I get down on the floor for you guys. That's how much I, I care for you. They're full price. And they have those Valentinos too. That white Bottega wallet's it's actually really pretty. And everything else is just like typical, like rack merchandise. They have this ragged bone belt. I've been needing more belts, and I like how this one, it just has ragged bone grade, very simple. So I think this is a cop, and it's a medium. With the clothing and stuff, I'll try it on once I get back to Houston. Me da, honestly, me da way about to try it all on. But I'm just gonna go ahead and purchase it all, and then when I get back to um, Houston, I'll just try everything on, and then decido lo que quiero y lo que no quiero. I notado que que no tienen cinturones de mujeres. And that's just like refurb. It's just todo lo que I notado. I came out as a winner. I found three beautiful items. Well, especially the pants, because I have been wanting pants like that. I know so many black ones, but I like kind of like that legging kind of trousery material. And I know Club Monaco makes really great fabrics. Actually, I think they're owned by Ralph Lauren, if I'm not mistaken. And so the belt, I'm gonna try to see how I like it with my pants, but most likely since I do wear like a lot of more white and cream bags, it's gonna go with absolutely everything. And then the skims is just something that I can always wear. But let's go into Saks off fifth and see what we can find. Oh my god. They have this these Givenchy wallets. They're the older Givenchy because the packaging is the older box. Well not older, like this is not the updated one. This Gucci bag's a thousand, a Gucci fanny pack, two Gucci bags, and then all these Gucci crystal glasses, and this Gucci wallet. I don't really like that. It always kind of gave me replica vibes. Um, oh my god, this Balenciaga wallet that I got. Remember when I got this, um, the bag from Nordstrom Mac? I ended up giving it to my friend Kimberly because I didn't really use it. So these, so these are recent um, items. But I don't know, I find that always at Saks Off Fifth. I feel like the prices are always like expensive like i honestly guys i'm not gonna sit here and like bullshit you guys i don't really remember the last time that i go into Saks off fifth and i'm like oh my god I, that was a steal i robbed the store i got something really nice like like i think those toy are cute but those are outlet like nurture mac i could always go even last time i need monkeys Ross, TJ Maxx, shit, even Marshalls. Like, I'm being honest, but I, I just feel like for Saks Off Fifth, like, I just feel like this is a good price, but I honestly, it's been probably like well over a year. Like, what I go into Saks Off Fifth and I'm like, oh my god, I got the steal of the century or I got something really nice. Like, I like shopping at full price Saks. Oh, I have these Celine sneakers. Let's see how much they are here. See, like, I literally paid like $180 for them. And they went 60 at Neiman's and Nordstrom. I actually have them. <laughs> but honestly, I really don't remember. Hopefully I'm not the only one that, like, I don't remember the last time I bought something. Like, it's always kind of like, meh. Like, oh yeah, like I bought something. Like, this would take, this bag right here is really, really pretty. Um, really pretty, I like that a lot. But honestly, I'm not gonna lie to you guys. I just don't remember. Even like when I went to LA, when I go, went to, I think I went to, in Boston, I went to one. I literally don't go and think about, oh my God, I robbed a store. And is it just me or I'm the only one? I am such a great mood. Yeah, entramos a la shop de la cantera, or whatever, whatever it's called. Me entendieron lo que dije. I got Ariana Grande, thank you, next. I'm like literally in a dancing mood. I told my friend Yardi, I was like, girly, like, today I feel like, like, doing karaoke tonight. Like, I don't know why. I'm in that mood. And I'm gonna be with my friend too. So, absolutely yes. But let's walk around the mall and see what's up. It's a little chilly outside though, but. The La Quintero actually has, like, pretty nice merchandise. So they have some snapshots. And look at this fuzzy bag. It was so cute. And then they have this one. 
This is like the huge one. Like the huge one. I don't even think that one comes with a strap. And they have some Rebecca Minkoff. And they have like soft accessories. They even carry MD Wallace in this store. And they have this huge Tory Burch section. I'm obsessed with this bag. You guys saw it. Um, like look at all these fixtures. We love this. But I love this little Ella bag. So cute. But I love this. I want to get this very, very soon. I don't even care if it's about to be summertime. I have to get the bag. And I also want one of these flap ones. It's cute. I have some belts on there too. And with this, this one's cute too. I like this pattern too, but it's a little novelty for me. But the La Quintero mall is actually a pretty cute mall. I'm not gonna sit here and lie. I love the, the La Medusa, but I love this red one. This red one's so cute. Love it. For my vegan queens and kings out there, they have a little bit of Stella McCartney. Super cute. I like these little um, baguette styles. So cute. In the chevron moment two chevron moments i'm not a big fan of these bags chloe what are you doing like chloe bags are not it i know even for stella i'm not a big fan of all of them but like my friend paulette has this and i really like it oh this is cute too this hobo style this is really pretty i would wear this for sure and i always love a metallic bag i would wear this so let's do yes or no no yes no no yes yes no Yes, no, 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 yes to both, no, no. Oh, I would actually wear the cream one instead of the black one. This one's a little bit more prettier, if you ask me. But the chain looks like it's really heavy, like really great quality. But we, yes, yes, no, no. This one, yes. Ooh, this, this fixture, yes. Oh, this little woody toe is cute too. I don't really like the woody toe, but I will say that one's pretty cute. They kind of remind me of a Victoria's Secret gift with Butch's bag. I do really like this one here. I love a good metallic bag. I love the box bag, the mini one, but I, prefer, I would get the bigger one. I have a wish list video coming up, but I would get it in this size. Like this bag is really pretty. Like I would actually even wear this beautiful red color. Um, I'm not a big fan of these two. Let's play yes or no, because I like playing yes. I would wear all of these bags at the bottom, but n none on the top. I'm not a big fan of this collection. I don't like this, so I wouldn't wear any of these. All of these, except the canvas one, I would wear. And then I would probably wear all these Balenciagas, except those two, all of those. But I would wear any of these right here, except for this one, because I don't really like the shape. I wish I had a top handle. I would even wear that denim one too. Puzzle bags are so cute. I love this though. This is super, super cute. This store is cute or whatever, but I take really great like happiness in like looking at stores, like McKinsey Childs, like looking at fixtures. Like it just puts me so much happiness and seeing people walk and talk and do all of the above. I just love it. Like look at this mannequin. She looks so happy. I just love to see it. Like I love to see it. Like, uh, it makes me so happy. Like, look at that. Isn't that gorgeous, guys? That is so beautiful. I love to see it. Love, love, love to see it. So they're gonna open a newer Toy Bird store. They have Golden Goose, Tiffany. Um, the Toy Bird store is already here, but I guess they're making it bigger, Louis Vuitton. Um, there's a lot of people that speak Spanish here, like demasiado, like I feel like como que estoy in like Monterrey or estoy como en Guadalajara. Like, it just feels like so many people speak Spanish here, and I love it. Like, everybody, I feel like all the Hispanic people that I see here son como fresas, like, all of them. And it's kind of, it's kind of funny, it's kind of cute, though. But I'm, like, low-key here for it. So this is where I ended up coming. 
by myself. I actually like to eat by myself. I don't know what I'm gonna order. I got some calamari and I got this margarita. Okay, cheers. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's mango. Damn, it's strong. Two, and I'm out of it. Okay, so I ended up getting fried calamari. It's okay, dos tres. Chips, no me gustaron. Agua me gustó. About to try this, so I just got some shrimp quesadillas. This, and I'm still working on my first margarita. I'm probably gonna get another one, but we shall see. But this is what I'm working with. Amigis, I have to clarify about the jeans from Nordstrom Mac. So I went to the Nordstrom Mac in San Antonio. They let me go through the, all the AQCs before they all went out. And so I looked through all the AQCs and I saw the tag that said retail. And I said, oh, they're probably like St. Laurent or something. And then I check and they're Zara jeans. So what most likely happened, me coming working from Rack and Full Line, is that somebody probably returned them as like a designer jean and then returned them. And then when whoever employee found out, they inqc them, they damaged them out, and then when they went back to like NQC factory or whatever, they, I guess they skimmed through and they just tagged it as the item, and that's how those RS jeans ended up being sold there.